Yeah. How's it going, guys? I just wanted to make a quick video, talk about the program I'm running currently, the new style of programming I've been implementing to better accommodate for changes in frequency for myself, um, work on weaknesses, obviously, um, in mesocycles and microcycles to be most beneficial in the long run. So I've been utilizing pretty much RPE based working sets for all my squat bench and deadlift with the exception of one day of close grip bench, my barbell accessory movement for bench press. So why I've done that is because I'm changing frequency and lowering it for myself in my squat and my bench. So doing that, just some days the movement would feel awkward because it had been like three days since I had done it and I was used to doing it like every other day for five days a week at some points for squat and bench. So um, using RPE just allowed me to kind of get through those awkward days and use a weight that I could do comfortably and it would still feel decent for the day. So I would get the most bang for my buck. I wouldn't develop bad movement patterns and so on. So obviously, RPE, if you're not familiar with it, is an auto-regulated type of programming. It's rate of perceived exertion. So it's just how you perceive the difficulty of the set, the rep, or whatever it may be. So if you have more questions on RPE, obviously there's a lot of information out there. More or less it's used in the powerlifting community as reps and reserve. It's not really the true definition of rate of perceived exertion, but anyways, <laughs> enough of that tangent. Um, I think it's beneficial for me because it allows me not to develop bad movement patterns. It allows me to get the difficulty of workout I want to get each day, and it's not making what should be an easy workout a difficult workout and making two difficult workouts in one week where it should be one easy workout where I can get some volume in and one more difficult workout where I can work on intensity more or less. And I'm also using intensity, higher intensity workloads on um, both my squat days and both my bench days versus where I was doing like a, a DUP style workout where it was like a light, moderate, heavy day. Um, now I have that basically all in one day because um, I'm doing three tiered style workout where I have intensity, volume, and then main barbell accessory movements with 45 second to one minute rest intervals, which allows me to work intensity obviously, train my strength, work in a volume setting where I can develop some hypertrophy, hypertrophy and um, also get some muscular endurance work, some stability work, and work on my weakness because that main barbell uh, accessory is picked based off the weaknesses within my competition lifts and I decide which accessory, main accessories and other accessories obviously my clients, my athletes do as well based off their weaknesses in their lifts. So, that's basically the main theory behind this program I've been running for uh, four weeks now. I have two weeks left in the programming. It's going really well so far, so I'm hoping uh, for some good results at the end of it, obviously. But uh, I changed a couple things with my squat uh, and my deadlift, um, but I won't go into that right now. I just wanted to give you all an update. I'm trying to make more videos, and I'll go over what I changed in my squat. Um, and deadlift and what I've been doing on bench as well. I've gotten a lot of new equipment from for my home gym here since I was making videos here before so I want to do some reviews on uh, the different bars and equipment and dumbbells and cardio whatever I have. Um, so be on the lookout for those if you're interested. If you're interested in coaching uh, I offer that through Animus Athletic.
obviously you can reach out to me. Um, my information is down in the description. You can go to animusathletics.com, animusathletics.com, and those the links are all in the description. My Instagram, you can reach out to me there. If you have any questions, you need help programming or working through some bad movement patterns, whatever you, whatever your situation is in your life. So. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.